Night Song Balthazar called the monster, and we know that it's Selenite, so... Is it Catherick's wife? Because I be believe she was Selenite as well. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Let's fucking go! Yeah, Shadowfell sucks. Pretty much. Lady Shah. I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the Shadowfell. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. Right, necromancers love this place. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. Simple. I followed you. It seems Shah still holds a grudge against General Thorn, and so sought to prevent me from entering in his name. Luckily, you were the perfect agent in helping me slip past her defenses. Now the Night Song is within reach. There is not a shadow of a doubt. But don't take my word for it. Come, see for yourself. The way he levitates when he's so fat. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I feel lighter and burdened. As if the softest push could send me drifted away. Just a little bit farther. See my actions, Lady Shah. Hear my words of faith. Blessed Night Singer. Witness my adoration. The brainwashing is strong with this one. I have emptied my heart of falsehoods. I have vanquished your foes. Lady there. Have to keep going. Lady Shah's will shall be done. As sure as night will fall. Nope, it won't. Hey, Ellen. Well, that looks fucking dope. Ah, uh, Seamarsh. He mentioned that it was an uh, uh, Seamarsh. Wow, she's big. She's Karlak sized. Radiant and necrotic resistance makes sense, yeah. Divine health. So paladin. As much as I save her. I cannot prevent you, but you know as well as I, I will come for you, one day. Poor child, so enthralled by gory revenge fantasies, you may find yourself disappointed by reality. Let us find out. Balthazar. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? I invite you. Heap more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time. And you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Alien. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorne, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. Catherick. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. 
He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thor. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. The Night Song is Shah's sacrifice. She's my destiny. He cannot have her. Like, he cares. Bring her home. What else? Alien is so much more than you comprehend. She is an Asima, bound to a soul cage of my creation and lending her immortal strength to General Thor. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, the maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. Well, time to stab you. you to my undying retinue, godling! Let us make short work! Let's crack this shit up! <laughs> it's a little chuckle on Carl, like what the fuck? Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> Pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger. A spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a Dark Justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Exactly. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Nightsong is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Yes, I think so. My whole life's been leading to this. No turning back now. Cannot allow! This is my mistress's will, my life's purpose! No, it's not. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Char only... Char wants nothing. There is nothing. It's absolute freaking nothing there. I'm not giving up on this. Fuck that. If she gets pissed after her friends, fuck that. What's with these rolls?
One time it fucking matters, I fucking fail. has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. so curious that you would spurn your dark lady. Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said, thus will it be so. Are you ready? <laughs> to kill Catherick Thorn. won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. If <laughs> Shara's angry, she's being remarkably quiet about it. That's what frightens me. She must be angry. Yet, I don't feel it. Or hear it. There's only silence. Maybe... Let's get out of here, please. Yeah. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. Fair point, let's fuck off. The song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Catherick Thorne.
interesting twist on Asimar. <laughs> Later, I need to get out of here first. Okay, point. Catherick's waiting for us. Can only imagine the beating that angel is preparing for him. <laughs> I can hear you Thanks smiling. to Shadowheart's good sense, we've got a chance at beating him. What secrets does this Asimar promise to reveal, I wonder? Whatever they are, Shadowheart will pay dearly for them. Shah will make sure of it. My lady, forgive me. Shadowheart. What happened? You were missing for a moment. I... I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. I felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught. Abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. <laughs> this is such a bad joke! <laughs> Holy fuck! You know what? I'm gonna save and check this answer because it's so fucking stupid. I need to see this. My fuck. Thank you. You're a constant source of comfort. Okay, she did it well. <laughs> I'm sorry. No fucking dying here. I, do, don't I? I suppose I do, don't I? You've done more to help me than my faith has in recent times, if I'm honest. Thank you. There's been something between us. Unless I fucking died from the, the third option, I had to re-record this because I was literally choking on the tea I was sipping. So again, <laughs> from the top. <laughs> Thank you. You're a constant source of comfort. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. Probably not. I suppose I do, don't I? You've done more to help me than my faith has in recent times, if I'm honest. Thank you. There's been something between us for some time. A connection. More than friends. I recognized it, but didn't act on it. I thought my faith was the most important thing in my life. I couldn't have been more wrong. Aww. I've squandered too much time already. I want to be with you. Now and always. Do you want the same? I kinda get one thing. If you 
one of the books in the Shard's library was saying that if you follow Shar, you abandon everything. Like, she just uses you to pursue her, her goals, and then discards you and you go into nothing. And you're happy about it, even. Fucking brainwashing. So, that she chose love. It's a good thing. It wasn't too long ago that I could never imagine smiling again. Shows what I know. Aww. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. Oh. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. I get that. That's not the first time you've made such a leap. Yes. But... <laughs> Perhaps there's more to it than I know. I recall that. Or would care to admit? Talk vividly. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. You do. Thank you. I think any attempts at comforting me might be in vain just now. But you're sweet to keep me in your thoughts. God, she's awesome. I hate seeing Shadow Hearts suffer like this. All for doing the right thing. It's up to us to look after her now. If she needs a rest, we carry her. If she needs a hand, she has ours. If she needs ears, we've got four between us. Whatever she needs. Yes. Poor Shadowheart. The gods are nothing if not vindictive in their vengeance. You know that. Shah's ire has shaken Shadowheart. And yet she goes on. There is untold strength there, I feel. I agree. Shadowheart suffers. You might be surprised, but it pains me to see. Now... What would you ask of me? Wow, even Lazel. That's... That's company. That's camaraderie. I suppose it was only a matter of time until Shah took vengeance. For the Lady of Loss, she does not like losing. Clever wordplay friend. Shah called Shadowheart nothing. But I know better than that. She is something. She is worthy. She is strong. She is Shadowheart. Nothing can take the her from her. Not even a goddess. True. I think any attempt... I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Oh shit, did the Harpers go there? Oh my fucking... There you are. What's happening out there? Who was that streaking across the sky? <laughs> Whoever she is, she's gonna see you bomb the pick of Catherine. An immortal. But it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Ketherick down. She's waiting for you there. End this. Now. We're all counting on you. From how she said that, I'm pretty sure that she decided... That she knows who it is. This is why she said that... No, it can't be. Of course it is.
Well, that was interesting. <laughs>